Jesse, welcome to my channel and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing for you guys and I'm going to be doing a tea subscription unboxing. Today I'm going to be unboxing my tea box. Um, this is a Canadian company based out of London, Ontario, Canada. I will link the website down below. I believe I found them on Crate Joy. I believe she's on Crate Joy. And basically they send you, I believe, three or four different kind of hand picked teas. And this is the November kind of box. And I'm super excited for this I wanted to kind of buy a tea subscription package because I'm taking my tea small a program and I want to taste a lot of tea so I'm gonna unbox this for you guys but then I'm gonna also review the tea I've got as well um, all together this was about mm, I want to say like $25 the packaging is quite nice I'm quite impressed with that it looks very pretty and it feels super personalized but yeah let's get unboxing this so there's a nice tabby thing here I'm gonna pull this it's not like a big fancy box like it used to be like with or not used to be with like uh, book subscriptions so not much of a surprise but we'll see how this goes no knife needed oh this is so very cute, very packaged very nicely. I'm very impressed with this and so happy. So let's get opening. All right, all right. There's a couple little things in here. First, I see a super cute spoon and it's got for you on it. Oh my God, look at the little teacup. Okay, I had no idea this came with this stuff. I thought it was just tea. This is so cute and I totally need little like tea serving spoons. Oh my goodness, this is so adorable. I love this so much. Sorry, that's a teapot, not a teacup. This is so cute. Oh, I love this, oh my God. Okay, so that was great. Oh, there is a card. I guess I should have read that first. So it says, hello there. Oh my god, it's a handwritten card. Okay, it says, Hi Jesse, welcome to my teabox.ca. I hope this tea box brings you a feeling of awesomeness to your day. Since it's the first box of your subscription, there are a couple extra items included some disposable sleeping bags and a teaspoon. Happy steeping. And I think her name is Lisa. But yeah. Oh my god, handwritten. That is so cute. So cute, like I, this is so, I love this, I love this already. All right, a couple other things. Uh, just a little Instagram thing. If I post a picture of my favorite tea, okay. What else in here? Oh, steeping bags. Now, I haven't been using steeping bags lately. I've been like, um, steeping my tea a little bit more traditionally, like how my cupping goes, but steeping bags are really nice and these look like super good quality as well. Yeah, these will be. These will be super good for when I'm not feeling on doing like my traditional cupping. The reason I'm doing the more like cupping is because um, I have to for my course and I need lots of practice, but yes. Thank you for the steeping bags, my teabox.ca. And now for the tea. Super excited, okay, we got three teas here. Let's look at this one. Now this one is called Holiday Orange Punch. Okay, and it is, says, tis a season to brew and be merry. Now in this tea we have apple pieces, rose hip pieces, orange pieces, hibiscus petals, and natural flavors. Uh, so this is more of a fruit tea. Um, this would kind of be like a herbal tea. In the tea small a program, I don't actually learn about herbal teas yet. I'd have to take another course, but yeah. Let's go and test this one out and see how it is. But first I'm gonna smell it. How does this open? How does she? Okay. Oh, yeah, okay. Smell it first. Oh, that smells so good. Mmm. Holiday orange punch. This would be very good cold. I am gonna test it out for you guys though. So let's go test that out and we'll see how that goes. orange punch and a couple more things about this tea uh, like I said before it's a fruit tea and it's caffeine free and I steeped it for five minutes at 100 degrees um, one teaspoon the smell is incredible you can really smell the orange in here and I definitely think this is gonna be a tea that can be enjoyed better cold I personally don't drink a lot of fruit teas because I like my tea to be hot and warm and cozy but if that's your thing so let's give this a try I think I'm really gonna like this though 
Oh, that's so good. Even hot, that's super good. And you can taste all of the flavors in here and none of them really overpowers the other. Okay, yeah, I like this. I'm a fan of this. I might make a batch of this and try it cold, but this is definitely, this is a very good tea, a very good quality tea. Like none of the flavors overpower any of them. Like I thought the orange was gonna overpower the apple and the rose hip and the hibiscus, but no, 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 no. Mm. Very good, five out of five for that one. Super good, really like this tea. This is good. Mm. Yeah, good tea. All right, next tea, let's try this one. What is this one? Cinnamon Fig, and this is a black tea, so I would learn about this kind of tea in my program. And this has black tea, organic cinnamon pieces, and natural flavors. Now, I'm not a huge cinnamon fan, but uh, yeah, we'll see how this goes. I'm gonna smell it for you guys, and then we'll go and test it. I'm like really bad at, oh my goodness. I wanna smell it. Yeah, what a 10 minute video of watching me open tea. Mmm, okay, you can totally smell the fig. I can really smell the fig. I can't really smell the cinnamon that much. I think I'm really gonna like this, so let's go test this one out. I steeped it for four minutes at 95 degrees. I didn't have a lot of water in my kettle, so I'm a little bit nervous this is gonna be really strong, but when I smell it, um, you can't smell like a ton of cinnamon. It's not like you're in walking into a cinnamon shop and you can't smell a ton of fig. You can definitely smell the fig a little bit more, but I'm thinking this is gonna be a nice, subtle taste, and I love my black teas. I drink them with milk and sugar, but flavored black tea kind of, uh, that kind of wrecks it, so let's give this a taste. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's very smooth. Mm. You can definitely taste the cinnamon and fig, but it's very, like it's still a black tea. Like I'm pretty sure I could put a little bit of sugar and milk in here and it'd still be okay. Mm. Yep, I really like this one. I could definitely see myself drinking this while I cozy up with a book. Uh, another five out of five on this one. This is good. Yep, good job my tea box with this one. All right, last tea. Let's test this one out, see what this one is. This is called Happy Day, and this is a green tea. Oh, I've had a very similar tea called Happy Tea that's a green tea, so I wonder if this is gonna be similar. This has green tea, raspberries, apple pieces, jasmine green tea, hibiscus petals, rose hips, and natural flavors. Okay, I... I have an idea what this is gonna taste like because I've had a very similar tea like this, but let's see. Smell it and then we'll taste test it. Yep, okay, mm hmm I'm really gonna like this one, I know I am. I've had a tea called Happy that's very similar to this. Mm, this is so good, I am very excited to test this one for you guys. my favorite tea so this is a green tea like I said it's low caffeine I steeped it for four minutes at 90 degrees when I smell it you can definitely smell the raspberries in here which I'm super excited about because I love raspberries so I've had a tea very similar to this I wouldn't be surprised if it's from the same blender so let's give this a try yep I like this this is so good this is like my favorite kind of green tea I am NOT a huge green tea fan I like more oolongs and blacks but this is just mm hmm I really like this this would also be super good cold mm. if I would have had for that I think this is my favorite 
I love this tea so much. Oh my god, yeah, this is definitely from a similar blender. Mm. Super good tea. Thumbs up my tea box. All right, guys, and that is all I have for you for my tea box unboxing and my tea tasting. I would really recommend this. This is a very good quality box. All these teas were very, very good, and I enjoyed them very much. And in your first box, you get a little spoon, which is adorable. And the handwritten note was really nice, too. Um, I have to say Happy Day is my favorite, and then probably the Holiday Orange Punch and the Cinnamon Fig. But honestly, these were all very, very good. I am going to enjoy them a lot. Um, like I said before, I'll link my tea box all down below, and I am so happy with this. Let me know what if you guys have tried this subscription box before, what kind of teas you guys drink. Um, if you like these videos, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up because I will do more tea tastings and unboxings. And yeah, and just another disclaimer, I'm not a professional tea sommelier, I'm not a professional taster, I mean I'm taking the tea sommelier program, but I'm not a pro, I'm just a chick who really enjoys tea and reading and I thought this would be fun. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching, I will see you in my next video.